Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank the ranking member for bringing this very common sense uh, amendment uh, to, uh, to the uh, committee. Listen, I, I, I think a couple of things that we need to recognize is number one is this is not a complicated formula. This is something that many states and most states already use uh, with their state benefits. And we should be able as a nation to figure out how to ensure that people don't make more receiving unemployment than they do from their from their paychecks. And I believe that uh, using the current state formulas that we can't do this. And I don't think that it would take eight to 20 weeks to implement. I think this is something that we could get out the door very, very easily. And look, we can get this done before the current um, uh, benefits run out in March. But it's a very, uh, you know, many, many of my Democrat colleagues said last year that they agreed that you should not make more on unemployment than you make from your regular paycheck. And I think that that's a reasonable position to take. Can you really go out into America and say, we think it's right to pay somebody more than what they were earning prior to COVID or prior to losing their job? No, it is not. And you cannot go out into and face Americans and say that it is acceptable to pay people more when they're unemployed than when they were employed. That does not make any sense. It's wrong. And let's be clear. Why should we do that? This is not, listen, all of us recognize that there are real challenges with people getting back to work. That is why we stand ready to work with you in a bipartisan manner to make sure that businesses can continue to open and states can re continue to reopen in a safe and effective manner so that we can begin to rebuild our economy with job creation. But it is not acceptable to put to spend more money than we have to add to the deficit. This is an enormous amount of money, and then not and and, and then pass that debt on to our grandchildren and great grandchildren. We've long passed since spending it on our children. Very simply, can you look at your constituents that that that, that have jobs and say we are going to put the tax burden on you? And your and, and 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 your grandchildren and great grandchildren, because we aren't willing to take a stand to say well, it's not right to pay somebody more for unemployment than they were making when they had a job. I urge ado adoption of this amendment. It's common sense. It's the right approach. It's not going to take eight to twenty weeks. States already use this formula. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.